The Kenya Medical Research Institute is one of the huge establishments in Sub-Saharan Africa that uh, do biomedical research. I head the Department of Medical Microbiology, where our mandate is to try and understand how pathogens affect public health in this country. We have a lot of experience in being able to understand the general public health aspects of disease from a point of epidemiology, being able to describe how much disease happens and where it happens, which, which age groups are most affected. Over the years, uh, we have not only grown science, but also grown the people to conduct uh, that particular science. And Dr. Sam Karioki is one of our scientists who has actually developed through the system. He has been able to grow his science. He has also been able to grow other scientists, to develop other scientists. In more developed countries, particularly in the Western world, salmonella are known to cause foodborne infections. So you associate salmonella with eggs, with salads, with contaminated meats from animals. We have another form of salmonella that we call typhoid. Typhoid causes a bloodborne disease and is typical of areas where we have poor sanitation. But the salmonella that do not cause typhoid and which we call the non-typhoidal salmonella, in this country it doesn't just cause diarrhea or gastroenteritis, but invades into the bloodstream and causes a bloodborne disease. And this bloodborne disease is extremely severe because uh, after 48 hours, up to 30% of the children can die. So it's an important disease, particularly in vulnerable children who come from uh, poor backgrounds due to malnutrition or co-infection with malaria, or they have uh, sickle cell disease, or they have HIV. Whereas in the Western world, within 24 hours, 48 hours, the disease just clears itself, even without treatment. <laughs> So I first really met Sam at a meeting in uh, Zomba in Malawi about 12 years ago. And Sam made a presentation and I was immediately taken and impressed by him and the sort of clarity of his, his thought and he presented a problem uh, associated with salmonella which has actually led to this prize and I was absolutely fascinated by it and uh, that's continued since that day. Along the way we've collected uh, scientific data and publications and credibility because his initial idea was quite controversial and was not, I mean people in the West didn't believe in simply as simple as that, people in, in, in the, like, the developed, economically developed world because it was so unusual. And what we've been able to do by moving uh, the focus from just a single laboratory environment, a single city environment, across to a pan-African environment, we've been able to map the emergence of a new form of salmonella, which Sam predicted was the case, which we believe is human-to-human -human transmission rather than animal-to-human transmission. The actual project is going to be done in uh, one of the slum areas east of Nairobi, about 20 kilometers from here, uh, called Mukuru. This particular slum area does not have proper drainage. You find that uh, there is sewer running uh, over ground. Uh, the city council has provided running water, but unfortunately the piping runs through very contaminated ground. And this particular slum area has a total population estimated at 150,000. We estimate that about 40% of this population will be children below five years of age. What we want to do is to utilize two of the clinics run by missionaries to be able to capture this population that reports to the hospitals or the clinics with complaints of diarrhea or fever of unknown origin. Obviously, if they have fever, they'll be referred to the Cambridge Project. If they have diarrhea, they will be referred to the Cambry Project. And we will obtain their blood. Two, we will also obtain a stool sample, and then we will take these two specimens to the laboratory. We will be able to do experiments on antibiotic sensitivity so that we can be able to tell the clinicians the number of choices of possible interventions in terms of treatment. We will also be asking 
the guardians for permission to visit their homes to sample a number of areas, be they what they cook and their sources of meat, the sources of water. And the idea behind this is that in case we isolate an anti salmonella, then we use molecular genetic methods to be able to tag the transmission of this pathogen from the environment to the human host and back to the environment and that will be able to probably explain what are the transmission dynamics behind this disease. <laughs> really privileged to be awarded this very prestigious uh, prize uh, as a recognition to previous work we've done and which really really uh, sets some stage uh, worldwide in recognizing that um, non typhoid salmonella bacteremia is an important infection in this part of the world mm -hmm.